Aquarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. Let me just shoot that slightly. Um, no particular subject. We'll, um, we're going to do my version of a collect, collect, Celtic cross. Um, and at the end there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll uh, dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 11th house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. Easiest way is the likes, the shares, subscribes, comments, does wonders for the growth. Thank you to all the Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, the extendeds, buy me a coffee, donations, etc. Uh, it keeps me going, so thank you very much. Crosswatchers, you're um, more than welcome, and all the information is in the description box below. Okay, Aquarius. Um, interesting, your song randomly, randomly came up. I've never even heard of it. Um, I, I, I didn't even know there was a new Scream movie, to be honest. Um, but yeah, from the soundtrack of Scream, whatever number we're on now, um, Demi Lovato, Still Alive, was, uh, was your song. So quite interesting, especially one line was, I, I either eat or ate the devil so I could spit out my demons or something like that. Deep. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. Let's, uh, let's do two more. We have the Ten of Wands, okay, burdens. This is the energetic shift that you're possibly feeling. It, it, you've been weighed down, like I say, I mean, you've had Saturn in your um, in your first house, um, essentially, for, um, for whole sign houses, for the last almost, well, two and a half years at least. Then it was in Capricorn for three years, which Cap uh, Saturn rules Capricorn, Saturn is the old ruler of you. So essentially you've been bogged down for quite a few years now. Um, so this energy is tiring. Um, but yeah, we're getting to the end of it. Crossing you. Root of the matter. Recent past. What you want. What's coming in. How you see yourself, how others see you, advice. Potential outcome. Okay, we have judgment with breakthrough insights, king of cups, seven of wands, queen of cups, eight of pentacles, Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, Eight, Seven, Six. Okay, you're almost there. Um, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of shadow work left. Um, but I promise you, it's going to be worth it. And I almost feel like there's one last piece of the puzzle, I'm going to say, to... Um, To, to free you some free yourself from something here um this could be releasing some sort of i'm gonna say anger actually yeah because it's, it's it's in my face is anger um and you might think to yourself no i'm, I'm okay i'm not angry but there's there's, there's something deep-seated here this is possibly something subconscious there is um a, a, a pent-up energy it doesn't have to be anger uh, shame fear guilt uh, frustration, something that's kind of lower vibrational. Um, and I almost feel like there's going to be, you're going to be drawn into possibly an argument of some kind. And this is, I almost feel like it's a last lesson. And I say a lesson, but there's always lessons, but for this particular energy. So we've got the Ten of Wands, this has been completely weighed down. Uh, crossing you is the Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords is that ability to let that frustration, the anger go. The whole idea of the Six of Swords, get to the other side of the shore, leave the Five Swords in the boat, continue with the Ace of Swords, going forward, speaking your truth, clearing, 
clearing that throat chakra. This could be a float throat chakra thing, to be honest. Definitely. Root of the matter is the five of cups. There is some sort of disappointment here. Um, it could be literal broken glass. It could be something to do with um, sense of self. Um, this could be a frustration here to um, release some sort of last um, you could have like say Chiron in your first house or Chiron uh, in Aries um, and that tends to be a wound of self and I'm just looking at the broken mirror here and we do have a broken mirror later as well um, and it just always reminds me of the body dysmorphia book by I always forget Catherine something Phillips Catherine Phillips um, the broken mirror so there could be something that's just maybe happens to get you angry this might not be an anger this might not be a, a confrontation with a person this might be internal in the recent past we have the tower I'm not going to show that too much because it's a bit of an insensitive card um, I've coloured most of it in anyway um, so in, in the past there's been like a, 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 a breakdown this could have been just uh, in essence just um, tower moments after tower moments Saturn doing its job within you um, weighing heavily on you lots of burdens uh, issues after issues possibly what you want is the devil you want to eat the devil and spit out the demons what's coming in is the nine of swords this is your demons this is you spitting them out um, so this is the last stretch I'm looking at the, it's almost in a um, half split pose, um, stretching the hamstring, it's that final stretch, it's that final um, final push. How you see yourself is the king of swords, uh, you, very intellectual, um, very, very honest, um, but it's that shadow, it's the shadow, it's the final shadow, the final countdown, eight, seven, six, the final countdown of your shadow. How the universe sees you is the two of wands. Two of wands for me is balancing within yourself. Um, I always say the, the four of wands is the emperor and the empress, uh, and it takes two people to balance within them, them the masculine and feminine energies. So one person balances their masculine and feminine, the other one balances their masculine and feminine. You've got the four of wands, the emperor and the empress, divine couple, power couple. Um, but it means you have to work on your two wands. So there's some sort of, um, you've, you've really worked hard on your um, um, your growth here. Um, and I almost feel like there's an air of excitement that's um, building up within you. I'm looking at the 10 of wands and the two of wands equals 12 wands. If you're gonna break that down, it would be the knight of wands. The knight of wands is adventure. The knight of wands is like a spark of passion. Your advice is the knight of pentacles. This is wisdom and planning. I almost feel like the universe wants you to take, this card is also a card of taking stock. Taking stock of how far you've come this past few years. The growth that you've done in the past when the devil and the tower appeared, how did you react? Did you react negatively? Was it, um, was it cutting? Was it argumentative? Was it uh, frustration? Did you bottle it up? Did you not want confrontation? When we, when we bottle things up and we don't speak our truth, we don't open that throat chakra, we hold in energies, we hold them in. Um, and energetically it stays. And then after a while, after a while, it becomes dis-ease. We start getting ailments, we start uh, finding pain in our bodies. The outcome is the Nine of Cups. There's gonna be a wish fulfillment from this. It's belonging, it's euphoria in this deck, however, we still have that broken glass to attend to with the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords. So there is something argumentative, anger issues, discussion, persuasion of some kind, whether this is internal, whether this is with somebody, this could be somebody. Um, everything is a mirror in this world. If something's really winding you up about somebody, it's usually a reflection of something that you've got within yourself that needs healing. Um, do that and we've, you've, you've, you've battled this last demon. You've, 
you've spat it out and you're still alive uh, is, is, is certainly the message uh, today. Okay. So whatever this, again, I've, I, I, sim, similar um, thing in Capricorns extended earlier. Uh, I'm just going to look for the Eight of Swords. So I've just got the Three of Swords and, eight, and the Five of Swords as your outcome. So whatever this kind of Ace of Swords, this shadow Ace here that's been held, is something that's freeing. Because in their um, um, extended reading, I saw that the Eight of Swords, but in a dif different deck where the After Tarot, where the Ace of Swords actually frees the Eight of Swords. So let's see where the Eight of Swords is. this ace of swords is um is, is with the moon and the queen of wands um the moon can indicate like subconscious things so this could very well be internal okay yeah this is something that needs it, it's, it's internal the eight of swords is with the hermit and the four of pentacles uh, it's time to release control of a situation here to look within. Uh, the Four of Pentacles as well, in the same deck that I saw the Eight of uh, Swords being freed, um, is kind of like the death card approaching Capricorn energy. For me, it's Pluto and Capricorn. We're in the final degree. It's going to be in and out for the next two years. Um, well, very briefly, it's going to be in Capricorn next year, but it's going to be there for about six weeks towards the end. Uh, completely out by November 2024. Um, so this is a very internal process. For some of you, there's going to be arguments. Somebody's going to push you over the edge. Maybe add add another burden to this uh, to this already um, heavy burden. Um, but when you when this happens, we leave the Five of Swords, and then that crossing card becomes uncrossed, and we have the Six of Swords. This is a journey. This could be a move. This could be um, a spiritual journey. This could be a, a transition. This could be um, moving to... We then move to the Seven of Swords. Um, obviously, in, in, in normal, traditional sort of tarot, uh, I would say drop all five swords. You only continue with the Ace and you never have to, come, you never have to battle the Seven, Eight and Nine and Ten. Um, you just start again with that truth, intelligence, that type of thing. In this deck, the Seven of Swords is resolution, mediation. Uh, and it's also the moon in Aquarius, which um, in the moonology is show the world the real you and bring love into the situation. So whatever's happening here, this is a final ascension process here where you are kind of um, releasing... And it's interesting, actually, I'm looking at the um, the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords, uh, and it's a, a take on an, a discussion I had yesterday. Because I've done Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is, was about, like, some sort of betrayal. And um, and my friend pointed out that, you know, betrayal could also be in the sense of confusion. If you're going through an ascension and you're looking at things in a very, very different way, you almost feel like you've been betrayed by life you know reality is extremely extremely different um so yeah when we awaken we we see things uh it reminds me of a line i came across the other day some uh, some chap i forgot his name uh, but he's, he has been making me laugh with his um his his voice is amazing uh, but he says the eyes are the eyes are useless when the mind is blind um, which is very very poignant okay So, in your extended, we will look at what the Nine of Cups represents, what this wish fulfillment that is, comes from all this, leaving behind whatever the um, demons that we've spat out. Um, so, something to look forward to. So, we'll take that energy, something we know, something we don't know, what's happened building up to this, advice, potential outcome, and we'll get some uh, oracles as well.
So let me know if this resonates. We have uh, Capricorn, um, Scorpio and Aries, Saturn in Sagittarius, Mercury in Aquarius, Mars in Scorpio, Mars in Gemini, Mars in Aries. Mars is all over the place here. Mars is very much all over the place with the Tower as well. Um, Jupiter in Pisces, Saturn in Libra, and Venus in Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, Sun in, um, Sun in Virgo, Moon in Aquarius, Jupiter in Leo, and Mars in Pisces. Okay, cups, swords, wands, pentacles, everyone's here, those are your standouts. Let me know, see you soon, bye.